up Fannies of the Week. My name is Ellen. This week we are taking a look at this Journey Instruments OF410 overhead travel guitar. We got these in a box that fit two of these cases and the packing slip said two guitars. And I was like, something's wrong. <laughs> anyway, so it fits in here. That's all I was trying to tell you by showing you this. And so sure enough, we open up the box and it's a bunch of Lego guitars. But we'll get to all that in a minute because the most important thing that you guys care about is how does it sound? Are they And the answer is no. This is a mid-price guitar, no matter how you slice it. And frankly, the sound is on par with other mid-price guitars, I think. I've certainly heard worse, that's for darn sure. but it's not uncomfortable, it has a matte finish. And the sound is woody, mid-rangey. But it, darn it, if it doesn't sound like a guitar to me. It has this weird kind of triangle shape, can you see? I guess the idea is that if it, if it gets bigger down there, you can bounce around more sound. And it's probably helpful. Oh, by the way, it has a solid, well, you can look it up online. Solid what? Spruce top. It has a solid spruce top, but you can look it up online. Give the information to give it. They're not coming to me for information. This is why I normally do it when these people aren't here. <laughs> Check it out. This is an ant. It's going to make it louder. I read the tag on this, and it says, try piezo pickup, which is like a code word, I think, just for basically a K and K knockoff. So it's got a K and K knockoff in it. <laughs> Heard worse. <laughs> I tried to kind of change gears there in the middle of that song. <laughs> Here's the kicker because it's a travel guitar, it comes all apart. The first thing that you do is you think about it really hard. Do you touch the button first or you do the screw first? First, you unscrew this like Acme Big screw here in the back. This like Wile E. Coyote looking screw. Press this button. Neck pops clear off. Look at that! How easy was that? I didn't. I truly did not even know how to do it. This would be exactly the right guitar. Are you doing background vocals for like Lori Morgan or Ty Herndon or somebody, and you're playing acoustic? You run around, well, you know, I'm talking one-offs. I'm talking fly dates. I'm talking Spokane. You know what I mean? Edmonton. You put it back together by, by sticking the neck in here like so. Push it back on real hard. Not, not real hard, but like hard enough. Tighten your old Acme Big Screw, and you're ready to, to play at K-Day's Country Fest with um, Andy Griggs or whoever you're on tour with. And it's like close well, if that ambulance would shut up, you could hear that I was close to being in tune. Incredible. I took it apart. I didn't know how. I just basically guessed and put it back together in a matter of s truly seconds. Tune it all up and we're, we're ready to rage. So that's pretty sweet. The thing that really kicks butt about this guitar is that you get all of these crazy awesome things. It folds, it sounds pretty darn good, it plugs in, it fits in a box that's this big for not that much money. Less than my mortgage, but more than my car payment. Somewhere in the middle. Oh, and they make a carbon fiber one. It's basically the same, it, it's just made out of carbon fiber instead of wood, but here's the deal, it's twice the price and I don't care about it as much because it's twice the price. So, but if you have that kind of money and you're trying to buy a carbon fiber guitar, if you are a professional kayaker or you live in a houseboat, maybe this is the guitar for you, but I don't live in a professional kayak, so I don't need that. The point is, what is the point? <laughs> this little guitar really impressed me for the price. I think it's a pretty remarkable thing, and we have a couple of them here in the store, and you should come by and check one out if you're interested, because it could change your game. If you travel a lot, it could definitely change your game. I give it five out of five out. Alan! 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 Here at Fanny's House of Music, we also sell vintage clothing. We have this Bowie-inspired suit made in Nashville. I'm not wearing the right undergarments, but it does sort of fit. She looks like the kid up in the Christmas story. In the, <laughs> in the, the yeah, the tick. Yeah. Wait, I gotta have my hat. No, you don't. Oh, never mind. I thought I did, but I didn't. 
This is riding up on my boobs. It sort of fits me, but I don't like it. it does fit me actually pretty. No. Oh, it doesn't? The jacket at least. You can't move. I actually like this black shirt underneath it quite a bit. This tag is poking me in the neck. Thank you for watching Ellen's favorite thing at Phase of the Week. Tune in next week for me to have another favorite thing.